You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Breaking news overseas now, where an elaborate prisoner swap is underway in the Middle East. One Israeli soldier is being traded for hundreds of Palestinian political prisoners. ABC's Alex Marquardt is live on the phone from the West Bank. Alex, what's the latest? Good morning, Yonji. That's right. I'm in Batumia in the West Bank, waiting for some of the Palestinian prisoners to be released here. And you might be able to hear the loud festivities going on behind me, lots of singing and chanting, Palestinian flags waving, as well as the big green Hamas flags. We can confirm this morning that Gilad Shalit has left the Gaza Strip, where he's been held for more than five years by Hamas, and he's been handed over to the Egyptians. The wheels have also begun turning for the release of the almost 500 Palestinian prisoners being exchanged today for Shalit. Now, if all goes according to plan, Shalit will be turned over to the Israeli military. He'll be flown to a military base in central Israel, where he'll meet the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, and finally be reunited with his family before going home uh, to their house in northern Israel. At the same time, those 477 Palestinian prisoners will be released, mostly in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, with some being sent abroad. Now, Shalit was captured by Hamas in October 2006 in a cross-border raid this is a long-awaited return, not just for the Shalit family, but for all of Israel, which has followed the twists and turns of the story very closely, considering Shalit something of a national son. But this deal is controversial. Of those being released today, almost 300 are serving one or more life sentences for attacks on Israel. Some relatives of those killed have spoken out against the deal, saying that exchanging more than 2,000 prisoners for one man is too many. But around 80% of Israelis do support it, and there's expected to be much celebration on both sides today. Yoni. What a day there. Alex Marquardt, thank you so much from the West Bank.